Buenos dias, Bates. Good morning, Bates. It is Wednesday, um, and we have a lot going on this weekend. What's going on this weekend? This is so exciting, Bates community. We are about to have everyone go off for their Thanksgiving break, which means that you get today as a half day. There's a dismissal at 1040 for both students that are remote and in person. And then you have Thursday is Thanksgiving Day as a vacation and also Friday, then the long weekend. And we'll see you back in school, both remotely and in person on Monday, November 30th. Yeah, absolutely. So whether you are remote or in person today, the school day ends at 1040. That's when instruction will end for the day. Um, so, you know, make sure we're working really hard. There's a lot to get done in a short period of time. And then you're going to have a nice long weekend, as Mr. Fonseca said, to relax, enjoy time with your family and be safe. You know, we want you to go. We want to enjoy your time off, but we need to be safe. Exactly. All right. And we, we'll be back on Monday, the 30th um and get back into our regular routine for our in-person and remote learning um and then beacons of the week will continue next week again we didn't have them this week because it was a short week um you know yesterday we did get to see our beacons of the week um and those of you i guess there was a little issue with the video um you'll join us again on next week so that you know you do you are recognized for your accomplishments for being safe responsible and respectful and you know, really representing the core values of Bates Elementary. Absolutely. And speaking of recognizing students, I know we missed a day or two of the flags, but we did want to shout out all of those that got the Canadian flag, which was the last flag that we showed on morning announcements. And there's quite a list. So I'm really proud of all the students who've been able to recognize this flag. So we've got starting at the top, Augustine Oziafina, who recognized the flag because his cousins lived there. We had Obina Zemba. Antoine Nunez, Alyssa Churcher, Dahlia Almabusi, Mia Camarda, Danielle Gallant, Amelia Cullimore, Tegan Best, Zoe Abel, Julian Gonzalez, Allison Barrows, Dominic Hill, Riley Garnett, Braden Lee, Natalie Bouchard, Lucien Bozo, Jalen Rodriguez, Isaiah Gonzalez, Bereli Carceres, Sasha, or Sasha Hernandez, Leah Talbot, Haven Fields, Bennett Cipolla, Savannah Hanley, Andre Erickson, Carmelo Salvador, Selena Bernhardt, and Emily Gonzalez. Great work on identifying the flag of Canada. Got one more flag I want to show everyone today. This is a flag, I'm going to share my screen now, that actually represents many of our students that go to Bates. So opening it up right here, many of our students should be able to recognize this flag right away. All right, we noticed the different colors here. Interesting, this flag has red, white, and blue, just like the American flag, but it's not the United States. All right, but many of our students that go to Bates or that live in Salem do come from this country. So without giving too many hints, let's find out who can correctly identify which country this flag represents. Yeah, and uh, we'll announce that on Monday when we return. And I, I have a good feeling, Mr. Fonseca, that there's going to be a lot of students got this one correct. Absolutely. So, I, you know, I hope you have a, you're working on your voice, you drink some tea because you're going to be talking for a while. <laughs> I'm ready. I'll okay. be ready, Mr. Softick. I have a good feeling about that. Uh, um, you know, and again, so we do have the long weekend coming up. And again, I want to stress it really is important to make sure that we get off our screens, get outside. If you have siblings, play with them um, or play games with your family. Um, because, you know, especially you remote learners, you're on the computer screen a long time. Um, and, you know, it is good to get out and, you know, exercise. Um, even the in-person, you know, it's a, it's a shorter day, but, you know, it's very structured, you know. And so we want to make sure that you are able to, you know, run around, you know, like you do at recess. That's right. Take it's advantage fun. of that time. Especially while the weather is still not too cold, it's fantastic. If it's just a little bit chilly, you know, being able to get out there, dress warmly enough, and being able to enjoy this weather before we really get into the heavy, snowy winter weather. Just mm -hmm. enjoy this weather, enjoy being outside and exercising as much as you can. So, Mr. Fonseca, what's your favorite uh, dish for the Thanksgiving? Wow, I'm a big fan of all the different pies that you can have on Thanksgiving. So a lot of people don't know this, but I have a big sweet tooth. I love the apple pie, uh, pumpkin, pecan pie. Like all of those are delicious. What about you, Mr. Softick? Um, you know, you know what's underrated? I always feel is um, green bean casserole. Really? Yep. It's an underrated uh, side dish, but you know, 
Yeah. You, to have a good team, you need some support players, and that's what the Green Bean Casserole does. It supports the turkey. That's right. Not everybody can be the quarterback. The left that's tackle right. is important, right? Someone's going to do the dirty work and fill the plate. Exactly. And the Green Bean Casserole does that for me. So, But, you know, I do wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving, and I just want to say, you know, I am so thankful for the Bates community. You know, our teachers this year, um, over and out, you know, schedules have changed. Um, you know, their roles have changed and they just keep ticking for our students at Bates. Um, they're doing a wonderful job planning lessons and going above and beyond for our children of Bates. I want to be thankful for their parents. You know, they've been so supportive. And again, the schedule has changed so many times this year due to circumstances and you guys keep rolling with it and making sure that your kids have access to the education, whether it be remote or in person. And I think you guys have all rallied together and really made it a wonderful experience, you know, as far as it can go. You know, this is challenging for everybody. Um, but, you know, we're, we're sticking together. We're going to get through it. Um, you know, I want to continue to stress that how thankful I am and thankful to the kids. You know, yeah. our remote students are out there, third, fourth, and fifth graders, our K2 kids who are still remote. You know, I'm sure it's tiring to be on the computer screen this long and, you know, working and you miss your friends at school, but you guys are doing a wonderful job. We're so proud of you. Keep plugging away. You'll be back in the building before we know when we're all safe. And those who are in person, you know, it was so great to see you guys. Um, and that will continue. But, you know, we really look forward to getting more kids in the building soon. But, you know, things have to be safe. And, you know, that's why we're going to make sure we're doing the right things out of school as well. Yes, thank you to our Bates teachers, our Bates families, and to our Bates students. You are all working so hard. We're grateful for you. Keep up your great work. Yeah, thank you. Um, and, you know, and then obviously Ms. Reardon and Ms. Cuevas, um, you guys do a wonderful job, especially your arrival and dismissal. Um, they, they hold it down for us and they oh, make sure yeah. everyone gets home safely and comes to school safely. So I don't want to forget them as well. And then That's Mike. Um, our custo head of custodian. He's been moving a lot of things around, so thank you to him as well. But, um, but before we go any longer, I want to make sure that we get back to work. Um, you know, it's a short day, so we got to get after it right now. So, Mr. Fonseca, do you mind taking it away? Absolutely. And as always, it's a great day to be great. Wonderful.